prayer sticks one of the most powerful and magical ways of using feathers is with prayer sticks staffs and wands sticks staffs and wands have long been used as tools and symbols of higher forms of communication a stick staff or wand is an antenna they direct receive and channel energies they are used to draw forth and give expression to the feminine life force for healing protection and creation this man wandered through the darkness until he began to think then he knew himself and that he was a man he knew that he was there for some purpose he put his hand over his heart and drew forth a large stick he used the stick to help him through the darkness and when he was weary he rested upon it the stick staff or wand the stick staff and or wand is the second half of the creative principle it is the assertive masculine aspect almost any staff or prayer stick can be considered above are three examples of prayer sticks and staffs left to right a journey staff with hawk feathers a fairy realm prayer stick made of holly and the and a griffin feather griffin feather really okay and a more traditional prayer stick prayer stick huh? it sounds like a tongue twister this latter prayer stick made from a folk branch has feathers from an aureole one fork of the branch is painted black the other orange the colors of the aureole a forked branch is used because the aureole will build its hanging nest upon a forked branch of a tree uh, i've got one of the forked ones <laughs> and there is my <laughs> tanda all right so continuing a magical wand the stick of wand is the feather it is what brings forth those things desired out of the unmanifest such tools help us to magnify and select the creative process stick staffs and wands have been used in many societies most people are familiar with the magic wand of the stage magician this is but a prop but a true wand serves a creative function in the process of transformation and manifestation when used with fetishes and such we are using it to connect with na- connect with the natural world and the spirits and energies of it prayer stick staffs and wands are most effective for working with spirit totems when made from natural elements wooden dowels are effective but so are branches from various trees every tree has its own unique energy and keeping this in mind will help make your prayer stick more effective for more, for more in for more information on some of the energies of trees you may wish to consult one of my earlier works the magical name copy copper tubing capped at both ends can also make wonderful prayer sticks and wands copper is an element of the earth the copper and the wooden prayer sticks can be decorated to imbue imbue them with greater significance different colored cloth and leather wraps can also be made for them feathers of your totem can be attached so that the wand becomes a direct line to your totem wooden sticks staffs and wands can be carved with symbols and such crystals shells stones can be attached remember that it is important to research your totem everything you attach to your stick staff or wand should reflect some aspect of the totem for those who are working with the native american tradition the colors of the directions of the world can be painted on them for example some birds came to be associated with various directions a vulture is a totem of the south and a hawk is often considered a totem of the east if your prayer stick staff or wand is to is to connect with a specific bird you might want to paint it or wrap it in its appropriate color different tribes and traditions use different colors for the directions what is most important when using colors is that you find the significance of the specific color don't just use it because it is in a chart somewhere the most significance you can find for the color of your prayer stick the better it will be for you on my personal where will be for you yes on my personal journey stuff described a little further on i used a paint that i can wash off on each path working journey i use colors feathers and symbols specific to the magical journey at the end of my magical journey as i wash off the paint i imagine the washing as the final act in releasing the prayers and actions to be fulfilled prayer stick staffs and wands are extensions of your own energy and propose and purpose pur- yes purpose in working with your animal totems purpose yes 
these tools are channels of energy and as much care should be given them as to other fetishes and fetish pole these tools are the symbols of the great fertilizing activity variations of them in art and totem activity also include scepters thunderbolts clubs and the phallus <laughs> all right the use of prayer sticks staffs and wands is most effective when used to connect with an animal totem that is a bird almost all people have some bird that is a totem for them discovering it and then using prayer sticks to communicate and work with it is a dynamic means of empowering your life it can help you truly understand the language of animals and more importantly get them to understand you the most effective prayer stick staffs and wands are those which have leather fetishes attached to them it is very beneficial if you can use a feather of your actual bird totem but it is not essential every feather is a link to any member of the bird kingdom it may take a little extra persistence but they can still be used prayer sticks prayer sticks and wands to the hopi and the Pueblo Indians, uh, there were many ways of making offerings to spirit. Corn meal could be cast in various directions. Turquoise was often offered, and water contained within a shell was also common offering. By far, the most important tool for connecting with and making offering and petitions to the spirit world was this prayer stick. Prayer sticks can be shorter than your fingers or as long as your forearm. There are no set rules to their length. To the Pueblo of uh, Akoma, there were 17 common types of prayer sticks and the people would make offerings of 16 to 80 prayer sticks a year. The most common stick was that of a peeled willow branch. These were often painted and had carved notches and grooves. Once the painting and carving was completed, then the leather would be attached. The feathers are either tied or the feathers are either tied or stuck. Uh, into one end of the stick the color the notches the feather and the kind of stick has all significance and were combined into a prayer stick to serve as a petition to a spirit the stick is the message the feather the call to the spirit bird or totem to carry the message to the heavens one end of one end of the prayer stick is then planted in the earth as the breeze catches the feather it activates the energies and links the earth request with the heavens Ideally, the stick and the feather should be compatible. The qualities of the bird should harmonize with the qualities and energies of the stick. One of the easiest ways to determine this is to examine the kind of tree the bird usually builds its nest in. For example, groves love oak forests and areas where wild grapes grow. If you had a gross feather, you would gruse. How do you pronounce it? You could use an oak stick or the stick from a wild grape bush. An oriole will build its hanging nest from a forked twig. So using a forked stick with the oriole feather would add to your ability to link with this totem. You could add to its effectiveness by painting one fork of the stick yellow or orange and the other black, the traditional colors of the oriole. Remember that all feathers relate to spirit and the gods. They are symbols for the breath of life. Learning to breathe your intentions into the feather is very important. Huh. While constructing your prayer stick, occasionally hold your feather over it. Breathe gently through the feathers onto the stick. This helps activate its energy and implant it in the stick. Most of us don't have access to the quantity of feathers that those who live in the country may have, but even those in the city can find feathers. Take regular walks aside from its health benefits. As you walk, pay attention to the ground. I rarely take walks or runs without coming back with some feathers. I have found... me. Um, I have found. We also don't have the luxury of planting our prayer sticks. I recommend making some general all-purpose prayer sticks that you can use over. You may, uh, you can use over. You may have one for healing, one for protection, one for abundance, etc. One that I, one that I have seen is made of a combination of vulture feathers and the wood of uh, crab apple. All right, crab apple tree. This is very beneficial for purification. You do not have to plant the prayer stick outside. You may simply hold them and meditate with them as much as the same manner as you would have wanted. Uh, wave it around as the feather moves and dances. The energy comes alive. Spiral it up and down in front of you to see and feel the energy rise. Feel the presence of your spirit totem arriving. Imagine and feel the energy of your petition being activated. 
rather than make them uh, rather than make them and plant them outside in the traditional manner you can keep them and use them over and over again over again make sure that you smudge or cleanse them after each use and then recharge them with your new more specific intention there are a number of very effective ways of doing this but by far the most import the most powerful and most effective means is to combine the use of prayer stick with the use of fetish pot as depicted on page 108 and very auspicious number at that to a very ancient pagan ritual involves placing a knife into a cup symbolizing the union of the father and the mother this is the act of creation very similar to how uh, a shivling and a yoni is depicted the same the amalgamation of the masculine and feminine principle anyway a very ancient um, pagan ritual involving placing a knife into a cup symbolizing the union of the father and the mother this is the act of creation every time you place a prayer stick into the fetish bowl fetish pot or bowl you are symbolically doing the same thing any time the male and female unite whether whether sexually or symbolically there is a birth of new energy expressions this energy expression is greatly determined by the focus of one's thoughts and the manner in which the prayer stick is created the prayer stick and the fetish pot become an extension of your own energies they amplify and power and ground they represent the renewal of life the union of the sun and the moon on earth so that new can be born the fetish pot and the prayer stick together are the symbols of birth and initiation it is the joining of the scepter and the crown it is the marriage of the opposites to bring new expression and harmony symbolic sacred marriage between god and goddess sun and moon heaven and earth it is reflected in the combination of prayer stick and fetish pot and this creates a new state a new life and a new completeness One of my fetish bowl is is filled with crystal points and pieces. Whenever I use a new or old prayer stick, I take it out and I plant it in the heart of the fetish pot of crystals. All right, the staff, the staff is who, oh, the staff is the symbol of the tree of life, the axis between heaven and earth. It is a tool to take messages skyward. It provides support and it gives direction and intensity to energy. The staff is a symbol. of the link to your most spiritual energies magic and power have long been associated with staffs in biblical lore the staff of moses turned into a snake and swallowed the staff snakes of the egyptian priests the great magician and shapeshifter merlin is often depicted with a staff the staff provides support in our life journeys it is it also reminds us to keep our own magic alive while journeying through life birds often decorated the tops of their staffs reflected shamanic journeys birds often decorated the tops of staffs reflecting shamanic journeys all right the powerful application of the creative imagination is employed in the technique called path working this is often used in the ancient hebrew form of mysticism known as kabala the paths depicted in the kabbalistic tree of life are symbolic pathways to various levels of the mind in the universe they link different levels of the mind called sefirot in traditional kabbalism and the energy is available to us at those levels they can be used as for astral travel or for scrying in the spirit they employ powerful symbols in the imaginative scenarios to invoke and manifest specific energies into your life in one of my previous works imagic kabbalistic path working for imagi for imaginative magicians i describe a movement and play acting can often be used in path working to open deeper levels of the mind and the more dynamic energies of the universe i have made the use of a journey staff in my path working exercises employing it within dance movements and the performing and in performing various scenarios to activate the energies within the kabbalistic tree of life it has become a powerful tool it is a reminder that the tree of life and all the energies are within me on my path working staff i often paint the symbols and the words of the path and the two sefirot in the tree of life that the path connects uh this gives me greater form and focus to the energies i am working to activate decorate your staff the same way you would your prayer stick or wand attach appropriate feathers if you are using the staff to represent your life's journey you may wish to attach feathers painted to represent uh, your life's journey you may wish to attach feathers painted to represent feathers of birds that are um, that are migratory all right you will want to have the feathers of your individual bird totem as well painted with colors symbolic and significant to your purpose you may wish to use some of the ancient alphabets and carve names and words important to you and your life goals 
you can have more than one staff you may wish to have a healing staff a journey staff one for protection and a staff to represent your life growth don't be afraid to change and add to the staff i mentioned earlier that i have a staff that i use for dancing my kabbalistic pathways on this staff i use water soluble paints so i can reuse it over and over again i also attach different feathers those which correspond to the energies i'm trying to invoke don't worry if you do not have feathers to do this with you can always paint the bird image or use generic feathers all right at some point i have had all the animal or uh, <laughs> at some point i have had all the traditional symbols of the kabbalistic tree of life and its various parts painted upon my staff in performing this activity the staff has become my individual tree of life each time i use it it becomes more charged and it becomes easier to access the energies don't be afraid to experiment you don't have to dance with your staff simply holding it once uh, holding it once it is prepared will activate the energies remember it is an antenna it will channel and direct energies accordingly it will lift your intentions and they will fly to the heavens to begin to manifest for you